Joe asks, um, says that he's been looking at standing waves in physics, and he's noticed Einstein's equations, E equals mc squared, and he asks whether a standing wave could store enough energy to spontaneously produce mass. And Joe, you're right. Um, Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared, tells us that, uh, that um, in principle, uh, with enough energy, one can produce uh, mass. You need a little more than Einstein's equations. You need a bit of quantum mechanics. But we, as far uh, the way we understand things nowadays, you can produce anything if you have enough concentrated energy. You can produce particles. You often need to produce them together with their antiparticles so as to conserve certain con laws of conservation of charge. So you can produce electrons and positrons. You can produce quarks and antiquarks. You can produce just about anything. What you need is a lot of energy to convert to mass, and you need that energy to be concentrated. It's not enough to have energy spread out over a large region because the objects you're trying to produce typically are very, very small. If you can concentrate enough energy in a very small region of space, you can produce very heavy particles. And uh, that's what happens at particle colliders. We, in fact, look for new forms of matter never seen before, trying to produce them out of the energy present in these collisions of protons and proton accelerators. They have lots of energy, and that energy is concentrated in a very small, um, very small region. Then we can produce the new particles. With respect to standing waves, if you, uh, again, were to pack enough energy uh, into a very small region, you could produce particles spontaneously from the energy of that wave. For example, you could uh, trap electromagnetic waves, um, light, for example, between mirrors in a cavity, uh, much as you do in a laser. And um, if you put enough radiation uh, into a standing wave in a very small region, you could create a strong enough wave with enough energy uh, to produce, for example, electron-positron pairs out of the vacuum. And in fact, people are trying to do that. Um, not necessarily with standing waves, but by focusing lasers on a small region of space uh, in which the intensity is so high that it is possible to spontaneously produce electron-positron pairs.